Hey friends, it's Tori from Mighty Bear Fitness and today we're going to do a reformer workout. This is my studio here. I have a reformer. The Cadillac is behind me. I have a chair that you are sitting on top of and um, yeah, welcome to Body Bear Fitness. I'm located in Bellevue, Washington. If you ever are out here, let me know because I would love to have you in the studio. Anyway, I know a lot of people don't have reformers in their houses, but on the off chance that you do, I'm going to do a workout for you today. Let's get into it. So, you're going to start off with your regular footwork settings. So, I do 1-1 one, because one, I'm short. So, 1-1. One, one. It's going to be a really quick workout, by the way, um, because Pilates is very efficient. You don't have to spend a, much, a lot of time on your whole workout, or at least that's what I like to believe. So, I have two red and a blue on. We're going to lay all the way down. Am I focused? I really freaking hope so. Okay. <laughs> so toes are gonna be on the bar. You're in first position, heels are together. Inhale, exhale, press all the way out, and inhale, bring it back in. We are warming up your core here, as well as your legs, and evening out your musculature, making sure you're in nice alignment. We're in a neutral spine here, so a little bit of a curve in the low back, like I always tell you to do with your mat workouts. Good, last one here. We're gonna come in halfway and do little pulses. Eight, seven, I'm already dying. Six, five, and a four, three, two. Last one, press all the way up and bring it back in. Whew. Parallel position, you're gonna actively wrap your toes around the bar. Shoulders stay flat, you're in neutral. And exhale, press. Inhale, bring it back in. Exhale to stretch, bring it in. Each time you press, make sure that your core is firing on purpose. And in, and a stretch, and in. Three, make sure your glutes are firing first. And last one, stay out here. We're gonna lower one heel down and switch. Woo! This feels so good. There is nothing quite like doing a calf stretch on the reformer. One more on each side, keep your core on, even though this is a nice stretch. Okay, now we're gonna do both heels at the same time, and lift. Squeeze your butt each time you do this, please, so your whole leg can connect. Squeeze those rib cage muscles in as well, just like we do on the mat. Two more, Ooh, my butt is burning, oh my God. Last one, press it back in. Rock your knees from side to side, releasing any tension that you might be holding. Okay, now, heels go on the bar. We're gonna flex the toes up, inhale, exhale, press all the way out. And bring it in, and a stretch, and release. And three, and in, and a four. We're gonna do eight, eight of these, yeah, five. And in, squeeze your butt for six, and in two more. Upper abs are tight. Last one, come in halfway. Little pulses, we go for eight, seven, six. The smaller the pulses, the harder this is. Four. Three, two, last one, press all the way out and bring it in, beautiful. Let's bring your heels onto the outsides of the bar nice and wide, toes are flexed out. Inhale, exhale, press it away and bring it back in. Squeeze and release. Make sure those knees are tracking in line with your second toes. Yes, we're all about alignment here. And a press, good. Two more, seven, and in last one. Ooh, okay, nice. Let's bring your arches of the feet into the middle of the bar. We're gonna do our hip roll series. So tuck the pelvis under, roll through your spine one segment at a time, lift your butt in the air. Let's do little pulses. We go for eight and a seven, Ooh, six, squeeze the butt, five. I'm shaking already, three and two, last one. Nice, go ahead and slowly roll down. Ooh. Oh my gosh, okay, now. We're gonna do, we're gonna add to that. So tuck the pelvis under, slowly roll through the spine, lift your butt in the air, inhale, exhale, press away, lower the hips a little bit, lift it back up. We're gonna do three more of those, three, and lift, and a two. Make sure you're hovering your hips to lower, and then lift it back up. Last one, all the way to a long line, and lift, slowly roll back down through the spine, and we're gonna do that one more time. Tuck and roll through the pelvis. Lift your butt in the air. Inhale, exhale, press away for four. And lift, 
and a three. Long line. Perfect. Two. And lift. Last one. Press. And bring it in. Nice. Slowly roll back down through the spine and relax from there. Okay. Now, let's come on up. Let's change the springs to a little bit lighter because we're doing our single leg right now. So, onto your back again. Right leg in tabletop position. If you want to do like a ballet style, if you're a dancer, turn everything out, okay? But I'm gonna stay in parallel because I'm not currently dancing. Inhale here, lock the pelvis in place. Exhale, press all the way up. Keep your heel in the same position the whole time, or at least try to on that left foot. This knee is staying on top of your pelvis. One more from here. Good, now stretch that leg out. We're gonna do a bicycle. So four, and release, and a three. Stretch, and a two, and then last one. Good, now stretch all the way up, press and lengthen, and come across, and a two. There we go, and a three. And in, are we doing five or four? I can't remember, but let's do five of these. Stay out straight, lower the heel, and lift. Lower, and lift. Don't move your pelvis at all. Three, and a four. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Last one. Oh, okay, bring it back in. Ah, relax from there. Let's go into our other side. So left leg in tabletop position. Inhale here, exhale, press it away, and bring it back in, and a stretch. I really hope I'm focused right now. Let's just double check. Please be here, four, and release. Keep going, five, and in. Oh, sorry, I miscounted. Let's go for five from here. Five, bicycles, and a four, and stretch. Three, and out, press for two. Last one, nice. Now we're gonna do our full leg extension. So bend, kick it up, bend, and through. Bend and stretch, bend and through. Three, good, and a four, and stretch, last one here. Stay out there, lower the heel, lift, and a two. Squeeze the butt, three, keep your pelvis in the same position. Last one, oh my gosh, come back in, and relax from there, okay. Whew. That is all for the legs laying down. We're gonna take your carriage out to two two or whatever you do for hands and the straps. Okay, I'm gonna do one spring. I'm gonna grab my straps from behind. Whew, I am sweating. Man, Hawaii is so efficient. Okay. Okay, sorry. Just checking if we're still recording. Okay, all the way down. Arms go in the air. Legs are gonna go in tabletop. We're gonna do three regular three legs into extension and three flexing forward. So I'll show you. Inhale here, exhale, press down for three, and lift, and a two. I probably could have done 75% of a spring, one blue, one white. Okay, go ahead and extend the legs three, and then keep those shoulders locked behind you. Nothing is moving there, last one. Good, now we're gonna add flexion. So nod the chin, press and flex, and release, and a two. And release, maintain that neutral. Three, pause there. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Two more sets. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Last set, two, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Bring it back in and lower. Whew. Elbows down by your sides now. Legs still on tabletop. We're gonna do three here, regular ones. Three, and bend, and a two, and bend. Last one, three, and release. Now legs out, three, bring it in. And a two, feel that extra ab challenge. Last one, now adding the chest. Press and flex, bring it back in. Lift those shoulders, squeeze the ribs towards the hips. Last one, stay out there, 100. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two. Whew, two more sets, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, last set, two, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, come back down. Relax, oh my gosh. That was just two out of the four, oh my gosh. Okay, out to the V position. Yeah, so reaching up to the ceiling, open a little bit out to the sides, legs and tabletop. Inhale, exhale, press straight down. And release, and a two, and out, and a three. There we go, four, keep going, just five. Now adding the legs. Yeah, when I count, 
on the reformer for studio people you'll notice that uh, I don't know how to count three and release let's just do four good adding to the chest press and flex just do three and down and then two there we go last one and bring it in relax for a second rock your knees from side to side if you need to you can even separate your feet to do this it feels even better to kind of splay out like this good nice job so far if you're working out with me i am sweating legs up to tabletop inhale here just three i can count these ones three and out and a two and open last one good now we're adding the legs so press and stretch three and in and a two there we go last one now nodding the chin press and flex for three and lower and a two oh my gosh last one press and flex and bring it in oh okay we're done with laying down for now i'm gonna grab my platform if you don't have one of these platforms that's okay um you can just use your reformer edge or the the metal part or the wood part depending on what kind of your reformer you have i'm gonna do a half spring so i'm on one blue okay Ugh. inhaling here keep your head pulled back just like we talk about in our posture series pull that head back knob the chin inhale exhale pull the knees in two inches and release pull it in okay if you're feeling this in your arms mostly that means you're not doing it correctly shift your weight into your hands lock the core and then use that to pull it in Whew. see i was cheating a little bit so now it's harder and release three more press for three and release maintain that neutral spine two and release last one Whew. and release fold back child's pose and stretch it out okay now we're gonna move that platform to the other side and again if you don't have the platform you can just use this wooden part or the metal part but um okay i'm gonna take these off for a second yes and you're going to put your platform on this side this is my bird dog series i saw somebody doing this a while ago just like balancing with arms and opposite legs so i decided to add to it so you're gonna push it out a little bit lengthen into your neutral don't move from here now lift one arm up and back down just the arms for this first part make sure nothing is moving in the pelvis and then press good we're gonna do eight so that's four total on each side one more each side press and lower last one good pause there with the hands now we're gonna stick one leg out and bring it back in and stretch it away bring it back in man reformer workouts are just a whole different beast bring it back in and five release and a six keep that head pulled back two more seven and in last one i'm moving all over the place don't but don't mind me shaking and shifting try to keep that pelvis and your carriage as still as possible oh my gosh okay lengthen out now we're gonna do the full bird dog so opposite arm opposite leg keep the carriage super still you got it press and lengthen Woo, so challenging press it out inhale bring it in and a stretch i'm shaking Whew. use that core to hold your hips still good one more on each side stretch and lengthen bring it back in last one oh my gosh fold it back and relax from there okay so our next is going to be our arm series so i'm going to put that down on the floor we're going to put these back up okay do to do, do sorry in real time this is how actual workouts are so i'm going to have it on three fourths of a spring so it's on one white one blue you can do it on on one red if you want to you're gonna grab on from the outsides. If you have tapes on your balance body, grab it from there. Lock your pelvis in place, squeeze the arms back. Okay, we're just gonna press backwards into chest expansion 
and release. If you've never knelt before on the reformer, please be careful. Squeeze your butt and abs, don't fall forward. Make sure that, especially on the way back out, that you're not releasing the spring super fast. So control all the way back and all the way forward. Two, and release, last one. Excuse my messy hair, it's, it's one of those days. So press back, we're gonna look to the right, look to left, look to center, and release. Oh my gosh, press the back, look to the left, Look to the right, look to center, and release. Good, press. Look to the right, and left, center, and release. One more from here, look to the left, and right, center, and release. Oh, good job. Now, making a little X with the straps. I'm gonna sit back into my heels. You can also just sit crisscross applesauce, it's up to you, but I'm gonna go back up in a second. Inhaling here, exhale, open to the sides, and in, press. Good, keep that rib cage. Make sure it's not going like that, because that is cheating and your abs are not engaged here. Keep everything tight in the front. Good, so you're feeling that extra pull from the front of your abs. Squeeze and release, getting all those back muscles firing. Last one. Woo, okay, coming back up, we're gonna do our rotation. So inhaling here, exhale, one elbow is gonna pull Keep your hips facing front as much as possible and come back to center. And other way, twist and center. Good, rotate and in and a twist. Let's go two more on each side. Squeeze and release and squeeze. Good, keep that head pulled back and in. Last one. Oh my gosh, that was a struggle. Okay, relax from there. Nice, now we're gonna face the front. Is there anybody here? Okay. La la la. So toes are up against the shoulder block. You're gonna come up to kneeling again. Inhaling here, exhale, we're gonna do teardrops. So pressing forward, open out to 45 degrees, and down and around. If, again, if you've never done this before, sit crisscross applesauce, or just be very careful. And three, and release. Last one, squeeze your butt and your abs together. Good, let's go the opposite way. Out to 45, close to front and center. And up two, and release. Nice, three, and around. Last one. Perfect, relax from there. We're gonna come into a nice squat position. Palms are gonna face in, or sorry, up. Inhale here, exhale, press forward and slide the arms out. Inhale, bring it back in. Press and squeeze your butt. Bring it back in. And three. And down. Four. Last one from here. And release. Good. Relax. Let's come off of the machine. And if you have a box, go grab it. Okay. We're going to do our clam series here. I'm going to keep it at one half spring. Usually I go up to one-ish, but for the sake of this video, I don't want to die. Okay, so awkward position you're gonna see me in. You're going to be laying on your side. Put your left top leg in. Are we tracking my face right now? Oh gosh, it's so hard to see. Okay, you're laying on your side. Sorry, inhale here. Exhale, open up the leg like so, and back down. And open, and close. Three, and release, and four. We're gonna do eight of these. Make sure you're squeezing your butt, and down. Six, nice, two more, seven, and down, last one. Good, now, we're gonna go into circles. So, press down behind you, up and around, and center. Down and around, and center. Keep your neutral spine, so sticking your butt out slightly. Nice, one more here for five, and around, good. Let's go the opposite way, so up and around this way, and around. Whew, this one is harder, two, and release. Lock the abs in place, three, and around. Hello there, I'm so sorry about this angle again. Last one, good, okay. Straight le uh, straighten that leg out. Inhale and then exhale, swing the leg back. 
and bring it back and keep your foot level to your hip and release squeeze your butt three and and a four good you're feeling everything firing five and release last one six okay good relax let's switch over to the other side i don't know what was focusing on what but hopefully it looks good okay other side so lengthening your spine stick your foot in wrap it around your knee okay here we go we are nice and neutral so stick your butt out slightly we're going to open up to eight and in and a seven and then try looking straight forward to keep your spine in alignment Whew. four more from here press for a four and lower and a three there we go press for two and down last one nice okay now into those circles so press the leg back up and around and a two nice and a three we're doing five of these and a four lock the abs in last one Whew. okay other direction i am actually dying one and around and a two good lead with that knee three and around and four guys honestly i rarely do reformer workouts now five good relax because i only film for you guys on mat inhale exhale press i mean i work out throughout the day sometimes when i have a chance between clients but very rarely i'd say like 30 minutes a week max it's so sad good two more five and release last one okay relax from there coming up okay let's do two more moves okay actually no i take it back let's do three more moves because we want to stretch out too so i have that blue the blue spring still on you're gonna get on your box your chest is off good we're going to inhale as you lift backwards lengthen to neutral and fold the chest all the way over inhale and stretch neutral and back down really look at what i'm doing with my spine good nod and forward just like we do the swimming too so neutral first then lift up the chest without crunching your neck right and come back down two more flex lift and lower and flex over last one lift extend halfway down and lower good elbows are going to be by your side you're looking straight down inhale exhale press straight back make sure your legs are still engaged too your butt is squeezing two and release three and in we're doing six of these four whoo, five and in last one good okay relax from there nice job coming off we are done with the box i'm just gonna put it right here to hang out i'll just line it up before okay now on to this we're going to curve through the spine so let's stand up on your machine make sure the weight of your feet is in your feet or the weight of your body is in your feet we're going to keep that curve through the spine let your head drop forward slide the carriage out and use your abs to scoop the carriage back in nice all the way out scoop it in nice two and then and three we're doing two more from here press and squeeze using the core last one rounding through the spine perfect relax from here let's do one red so now we're not on blue anymore just one red and one white or just one red spring it's up to you okay we're gonna slide all the way out into a full plank now press away from the bar feel that shake in the abs and bring it back in if this is too much bring your knees down and slide out like this and bring it back around and try doing five more just like that five and in keep your head pulled back you're leading with the shoulders the rest of your body is staying stable in that long line three and release two more press and squeeze i'm shaking all over the place last one press it out Whew. and bring it back in fold in the child's pose and relax okay now i have one red on it's the one in the middle 
You're gonna put your right foot up on the bar. My knee is acting crazy today. Okay, so you're gonna slide out from the knee, fold over the legs and stretch out as far as you can go, and then bring it back in. You don't have to go into a full splits at all. I'm also not gonna be able to go into full splits because I have not been stretching slash taking care of my body. But you know what? Here we are today, working on this together. So kudos to us. Last one, press all the way out. Keep that core pulled in. Yes, and bring it back in. Good, other side. Inhale here, exhale, slide and stretch it away. Good, and bring it back in. And press all the way out. Keep that belly button tucked and release. Trying to keep your hips as square to the front as possible, but if it's not working, that's okay. It's okay, as long as you feel a nice, deep, deep stretch. Good, and bring it in. Last one, press it away. Beautiful, and bring it back in. Nice, let's do a really quick mermaid here, just because I have time, you might have time, let's do it. Hand on the bar, legs are like so, lift up, press away. Nice, stack it up, and lower, lift the left arm up, Stretch the opposite way. Feel that stretch in your hips and along your side. Between the ribs, all the muscles there. Up and stretch. Your intercostals up and lower. Beautiful. One more from here. Good, pause there. We're gonna rotate the spine because we haven't done much rotation today. But pull the bar in, stretch it away. Two more just like that. Bend and stretch. Last one. Good. Now pause here. You're going to lift up the chest, stretch out the spine. Yeah, and then come back down. Nice. Two more. Lift it up and stretch away. Last one. Up and stretch it out. Good. Okay, come back in. Let's swivel around to the other side. Okay. Right hand on the bar, left arm out to the side. Lift up. Stretch over the bar, stack, and switch to the opposite side. Stretch over that direction. Nice, one more regular one. Up and stretch, lift and lower. Up and over, good. Now we're gonna go into our rotation. So up and over, rotate towards the bar, pull in for three, and a stretch, and a two. Deepen your abs, pull everything in. Last one. Good, arms stay straight. Now lift up the chest, three, and slide it back. And a two, and press away. Last one, lift, and lower, and pull the carriage back in. And guess what, friends? We are done for the day. Nice job. I have a few, um, I have a lot of fun. Are we focused? Yes. I have a lot of fun stuff coming up. We've got an ankle weights workout. We've got Pilates for dudes, AKA my husband is gonna be joining us and a lot more uh, mat stuff that you can do at home. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next one. Love you, bye.